so hi everyone welcome back to data science in a pocket and today we are discussing a very important paper by nvidia that is small language models are the future of agentic ai this paper has been released recently and is trending now and very importantly so because it says that you don't require a very huge llm for agentic ai so they have made some claims some observations and in this short video we would be talking about them so let's get started so the paper starts with three claims that is slms are powerful enough for agentic ai they are better operational fit compared to large language models llms and they are cheaper to run as compared to large language models they are capable of tool use instruction following code generation common sense reasoning what is required for agentic ai so if you try to understand when you're talking about agentic ai it's mostly tool call right it needs to make a decision out of given 10 tools which tool should i use so it's more of a classification if you can think so it doesn't need to write long poems it doesn't need to write long codes it just need to recognize which tool to use so this is comparatively a simpler task and this is what nvidia is trying to say slms are great for agentic ai and you don't require a sword when a needle can work for you for such a task where it's more of a sentiment analysis and then choosing the right tool they are cheaper to run that's for sure a 7 billion model cost about 10 to 30 times less than a 70 billion model and that's true low infrastructural cost reduce energy consumption and can run on local devices this is very very important for agentic ai they are adaptable easy to fine tune for specific tasks quite so because the model is small you require less data less time and are easily adaptable they are modular swappable cheap to iterate experimentation is quite easy agents need focus not brilliance this is what i'm trying to say agents only use a tiny slice of llm capabilities large language models I have great capabilities right but when you're talking about agentic AI you might not need everything you just need to recognize which is the right tool and SLMs excel at narrow repetitive and predictable tasks better alignment with tools and codes consistent output reduce hallucination precise tool integration consistent format output and reliable API interactions so they are well suited for tools and code tasks. Hybrid approach works best. Multi-model systems are natural. LLM for planning, SLMs for execution. This is a great theory that they have given that you should use LLM for planning the entire workflow. And then while executing, you should use different SLMs, that is small language models in different architectures. Continuous improvement, that's for sure. Agent interaction generates training data. And then this training data can be used for training the SLMs further. Systems are getting tighter and cheaper over time. That's for sure. Many models have come in like Himba has come in. We know small VLM coming from Hugging Face. Many small models are coming out which are able to uh, perform some specific set of tasks very greatly. Dispelling myths and overcoming inertia. Though as we are telling about SLMs are the future and it's cheaper to run, why the market is still using big large models? The reason is common objection is LLMs are just smart. Reality, SLMs with better architecture can match LLMs on narrow tasks, that's for sure. Market inertia, heavy investment in LLM infrastructure, wrong evaluation benchmark for SLMs. So basically SLMs are getting evaluated on wrong benchmarks, this is what NVIDIA says. And I also believe that they doesn't require to be a 99% accuracy on AIME because you need to think in terms of agentic AI now. When you're talking about an agentic tool, if the tool is correct, eventually you just need to reach to that tool. It's more of a decision thing rather than going through step-by-step -step calculations. They also propose a very interesting concept called as SLM2. LLM to SLM conversion pipeline. So they say that you should start off with an LLM and eventually convert it to SLM. Log real agent queries. So basically, when you're creating an agentic tool, start off with a large language model and whatever queries you are getting, you should store that. Now filter and clean that data that you have got. So it would be able to grasp all the information, all the tasks that it is facing while going for agentic AI with a large model. Cluster these tasks and then replace these LLMs bit by bit. So for example, 
assume that you created a chatbot which uses multiple tools. Now, when you got all the logs, you saw that when you are clustering the task, there are five broad categories that are coming out. Now, for all these five broad categories, instead of using a one large model, you can use small SLMs, multiple small SLMs for each category. That's the intention that the NVIDIA team is trying to say with this LLM to SLM conversion pipeline. And then fine tune SLMs as I mentioned for these specific tasks. Bottom line, SLMs are efficient, specialized, future ready, agentic AI. Stop using a hammer to kill a fly. That's for sure. This is what I said also. If you require a needle, you don't need a sword. They are cheap, fast, good enough and scalable. And hence, SLMs are the future of agentic AI. It's a very interesting paper to read. Quite short also. I would urge you to read it through. And let me know in comment section how you feel about it. Thank you so much.